Hey, Black Kettles, it's DJ Cryptid again, back at it. Today is 3.22, it's about 4 p.m. Uh, welcome back to It's Vibe O'Clock Somewhere with, uh, once again, DJ Cryptid. I uh, hope you all had a good spring break. Uh, right now, I've got for you One Big Holiday by My Morning Jackets. Uh, it's good to be back. I'm excited to be with y'all again today. So here we go, My Morning Jacket. Hey, Black Kettles, DJ Cryptid back here. So, um, I hope y'all had a good spring break. I'll, I'll be honest, mine was pretty much spent 24-7 in front of a computer, playing video games. Um, I've been watching MasterChef. I've really been uh, into that. Um, yeah, seeing all these cooks, you know, making these weird dishes I've never heard of. Um, over spring break, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try making some spaghetti. So, you know, I took some flour, some eggs. It's not that hard, but I don't know. My spaghetti came out really thick. Like, these were like macaronis that were squished together. It, it came out, it came out okay. I mean, I don't think I'm Master Chef, you know, quality, but it was okay. Um, I, you know what? Coming up is finals we've got about a month maybe and then we're yeah that's it i hope you all are ready because i know i'm not i think that's what i should have been doing during my spring break you know instead of watching all these different shows and playing games i think i should have studied a little bit more uh don't tell my professors that um but yeah uh that is gonna be like i said about a month from now so uh i'm the anxiety is building up um, but either way, here's some tunes, Social Anxiety by the Courtney's coming up, Wild Ghetto Radio. Hey, so I'm back here in the studio with DJ Random. How's it going? I'm doing good. So far, so good. Yeah. Yep. How's the spring break? How was it? I'm not going to lie to you, it was more chill than, that, than nothing. I didn't do as much as I thought I was going to do, because, um, I mean, doing everything with school and with work, it was more like I wanted to. I want to spend time in my bed. <laughs> like, I, I, I just slept for real from 11 all the way to what? 12? I mean, 11 p.m., though. I didn't wait, slept too, yeah. too much. And it was, it feels so good. I think, um, I don't know how do you call it, dude. Like, my, uh, my dark, I don't know. The bags? Yeah, right? the, yeah, the bags, dude, it disappeared. Like, for oh, real. Nice. It really disappeared. And now I'm, it started coming out, but it just felt nice. I didn't do too much. For me, I thought it was fun. Because I, even though I told people like, okay, that's not fun on it, I saw Batman that too. So oh I mean, that was that was cool too, but I didn't do too much. I tried to still chill. I try to like sleep and spend time with my family because I think most of my time here, I'm moving. I'm just like going, oh, yeah, like yeah. back and forth. So every time I have a break, uh, what I try to do is just stay in a place, and that's it. Yeah. Cause yeah, yeah. and right now gas is expensive too. So. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I'm like, my friends are inviting me places and whatnot, and it's spring break, so I have the time to go. Yeah, sure. But, man, gas is, what, $4 last time? Well, Ye when I did last week. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Amara, what was, the, what was the price of the gas today? You saw it? No, four. I think it's four something. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's still around four, at least like three ninety some. It's okay, so is my life at this point. No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> At that point, I'm just like, you know what? I'm putting gas. I'm not gonna look at how much it's going in, as long as it it goes in my car and gets me where I need to go. But you know, you know what's now the the thing that it's like viral. It's oh. is like, I mean, I have to say like, uh, it's just like tell you tell tell the people how much you spend on gas. Oh. You know, like oh, I spent eighty five eighty five bucks on gas. Yeah. So like that's that's how. I mean, not selfish, but that's how, like, you get viral, though, being, uh, yeah, how much, yeah, how much you're putting on gas, though, you know? Oh, yeah. Get get out get out with the with the jewelry, with, uh, you know, with oh, the fancy okay. looks car. No, I put 80, overseas, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I put 85 bucks, it frills, I just got it from a friend, he is like, I put 85 bucks, and everybody's like, wow, like, this is, this is cool, like, how dare you, and everything, and I'm like, what? Like, I don't know, the world's turning crazy in some points, because, like, Okay, so how much gas do you have now? It's like the, 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 the thing. You're, you're on top. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. And it, uh, for me, it's stupid. I mean, if you ask me, it's like, if you see my, my gas tank right now, it's like three, four lines. I mean, from oh the wow. bottom. <laughs> so, yeah, it sucks. Like, for real, I need to put like 10 bucks and that's it. But we're going for a trip. So, that's why I didn't want to put any gas neither. Because I'm, you know, a little bit broke in that sense. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I don't know. People, people nowadays try to get attention from something stupid. And, I mean, it's it's i think irrelevant in my point of view but uh -huh. a it, i mean if you people want to see how much you spend on gas see, and i'm the opposite as little or as much gas i can spend or money into my tank hey perfect really if, if i can put 20 bucks and that'll fill my car all the way up oh. i'm good i mean you back then i used to do mine it was like 30 bucks max 30 bucks, sometimes yeah. it was like 28 and it was like a bunch like i'm actually like spending a lot of money on, on gas. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, bro, real how much I put I put thirty no, forty bucks. And it was just half of it. Wow. Half. Yeah. That that hurt me, yeah. Yeah, I think about twenty was because back then, you know, I put twenty, maybe thirty and that would get me all the way to the mm -hmm. it was like a dollar and something. I, I we we I was doing an economics class and it says it's more expensive to have a water, like a, a bottle of water than a gallon of gas. Really? Yeah, like back for reals. Then? Huh? Uh, back then? I mean, back then, I'm talking about you three years ago. No, two years ago, most. Like, yeah, two years ago. Yeah, it was, I was in my junior year on um, of high school. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, right now, it's crazy how it went from one to four in two years. Yeah. Like, that's, sure. that's how bad. I mean, it, when it was two, I know people, a lot of people freaked out. But now it's four. I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it was, but I don't know. People say this because of the war, so I, I, t I, I haven't done my research about it, and um, I will say a, um, like fake if I say something like uh, wrong, and I don't want to because I yeah. don't know what causes it, but people are saying that it's because of the war. Yeah, I, I kind of did a little bit of research, not too much, mm -hmm. and I think the war kind of has to do with it, but overall. I think it's just the uh, battle of people and supply. Really? But that's where I was talking to a friend, and I thought, because we're in Texas, mm -hmm. we have a lot of oil refineries. Mm -hmm. So I thought a lot of our gas was being produced here, and we're getting most of it from here. Yep. Because I remember back a year ago, during the freeze, we were affected because of the gas pipeline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're everybody was freaking out, and... Yep. Of our gas, everything froze and yeah, and we don't have any supplies. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and so we were kind of cut off. And now I'm wondering, okay, like what's happening? We should be getting our gas. Everything is fine. I mean, it was. I I, I remember I heard the same thing because um I tell you we were in the economics class. I remember uh shout out to my professor, Mr. Mine. What's up, sir? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember him. He was uh saying all the time, hey um if. Because I don't know what happened. Yeah, because it was it was uh, Trump's election with Biden, so he was saying that Biden wants to do like the um, whole like electric car thing revolution, oh, yeah, like electric yeah. revolution. So he said that uh, if we go into like a gas stop, our nation was able to handle it for at least a year and a half, like n with no problems, like yeah. the whole the whole nation. So, and now that I'm seeing on the big picture, it's like, okay, this is not helping. Like, yeah. everything that you told, I mean, everything that it says, I think it's just for making confidence of, of a nation. But I think in the big picture, like in the small picture, like, dude, that doesn't help at all. Yeah, and I think the problem that we're having now is that, from what I heard, don't quote me on this, yep. please don't fact check No, me. no, 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 no. But... We have oil reserves mm -hmm. that we just haven't tapped into because apparently he doesn't. Uh, Biden doesn't want to tap into them yet. I could be wrong, um, so don't quote me on that. Like I said, but yeah, I don't know why we're not tapping just a little bit into that, or if it's just you know something that's a bigger picture and why. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, not gonna lie to you. Right now, it's it hurts. Hey, how much do you spend? Uh, question mark. Question mark, Rodolfo, Trey, oh, bro, he's just busy. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, I, I, I hope everything just fix out, 
with uh, this whole situation. Because I mean, for Texas, this is cheap. Yeah. Okay. Like, like I, I remember in LA, it was like this price, like four dollars or five dollars, I think, a gallon. So I cannot imagine how much it's gonna be like there in there in those places. And it says that, imagine with four bucks, eighty bucks is nothing. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking sure. about with ten or something. I mean, I don't know how much is it. Yeah, let me do a quick search right now. But I think I remember hearing on Twitter that gas prices over there was maybe seven bucks, eight dollars. That's crazy. Hey, but you didn't saw the video. Like, um, it was um, the guy was filling his car with the gas, and then the pump was not working. Have you seen that video? The pump wasn't working. No, like the okay, the pump was marking. Yeah. But there was oh, no gas. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah, because apparently the person behind him. Or in front of him was they mixed up two hoses, right? No, I mean it was it was like he was filling it, and then the, he put it out, and there was no gas. Oh dang! Like it was just like charging everything, and it was like an eighty-two, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and he was like, "Say like, what the heck happened here?" Because and he got like really pissed off, and he was like sharing the video because he was like even he point like at, at the, the camera, camera at the camera, yeah. and there was nothing. It was still like charging, so I was like, "What?" Yeah. Cause he was he was he was pissed, bro. He was like, "There's no way that this is going on. Why?" <laughs> so yeah, I, mean, I would be mad too, you know. Like, did it just run out of gas, or did it like stop me? In? I I don't know. That's that's the thing. That's I mean, I didn't do nothing because you know everything is just like uh, there. So you know, a video can go to different and I mean whatever sells like oh like this is a stealing from the nation or this is yeah. stealing from the United States or maybe it was just a gas station. So. I'm. I don't know a hundred percent what was it, but I mean, I, I, it starting to make me think if they actually do that, do like this on yeah. on our gas station. So I don't know. I don't know. It's just make sure that when you're filling the gas, first you can smell the gas, uh -huh. the like like it's going in, and the sound. Because if this is in such in sound like the fluid is going, please just don't like. Put it on and go to your uh, to the front of the uh, to the car. Just like wait, no, like for reals, wait and see if actually is working. Because if not, with this gas of money, I mean, it you don't be wasting no. And I, I tell you, my friend of mine has a Ram, and um, shout out to Nick. <laughs> and for reals, he spent I think like eighty bucks. Uh, was he the one who was flexing? No, 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 no. I mean, you know, he was not. Thank God he was not. But. He put that kind of money on the gas, and we were talking about him like, dude, this is a bunch. Like, it, it there's no way. And then we had to go, I think, to the, we had to do some stuff, and I was like, bro, just and it was it's it's a BA, mm -hmm. like, like it's a BA. Yeah. So just turning on that that machine, bro, it's already wasting gas. That's like, like 10 bucks right there, yeah, like dude, just dude, that machine breeding, bro, is just already a chaos. So I'm like, you know. I was telling him like, dude, we had to go somewhere. It just hurts, and he try he will switch his car because he has a thing a B6 now a B Toyota or something. It's a B6, so um, he's gonna change it because bro, that's what people are doing. If you see Ford, there's a bunch of big trunks yeah. because nowadays gas doesn't like it's 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 able to do it, bro. It's just there. Well, that's why like in Mexico and other like European countries they have the smaller vehicles. Yeah. But I mean, even in Mexico, it's cheaper. Is it? Yeah, I, it's like two bucks. Two bucks a gallon. Mm, well, no, two bucks a liter. Oh, oh yeah. But a liter, but I mean, you make the count, and it's like. Yeah, I think it's yeah, two bucks a liter it has to be like, around three and a half, probably the gallon. Yeah. Because I know many people from uh, United States are coming to Mexico to fill these cars. Get gas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah that, that's what happens. So, I mean, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know what's going on here. I hope that they do something about it because if not, our paychecks aren't going to last too yeah, long, bro. Sure. Hey, Vargas, it's DJ Crypto back. So, that was Senia Rubinos, one of my favorite artists, probably top three. I'm going to say maybe two. Uh, she is really good. And the first time I ever heard her, I was down at Yerberia Cultura, uh, McAllen, Texas. It was spring break maybe five years ago. And I remember getting there kind of late because I had to pick up my cousins and I had to get my friends. So I got there kind of late. It was during one of their spring break festivals that they like to host over there. Now shut down, by the way. 
But I remember walking up there, getting there kind of late, already halfway into his show, when I remember seeing, you know, a woman in black, long curly hair with a giant bass on her. And she was playing the bass, she was singing. I remember being mesmerized, mesmerized, just looking at her and going like, whoa, who is this? And later did I find out that was Xenia Rubinos, really good artist. She's from Connecticut. Uh, she has Puerto Rican and Cuban descent. And she has really good vocals, really good music, just a lot of energy to her music. And I remember after that going like, whoa, like, this is one of the artists that I really love and enjoy. And it was later on that I remember following on YouTube NPR Tiny Desk Studio and seeing that, lo and behold, she appeared right on there. I was like, dang, who is she? Like, I want to know more about her. I want to hear more music. So I started going a little down a little rabbit hole, finding, you know, other music that she had. Uh, favorite album from her would be Black Terry Cats. Really good album. Features one of my favorite songs, uh, Lonely Lover. Really good song. The song I just played for you all was I Won't Say, also from the same album. Uh, she's also got another few, uh, another album that just came out last year, 2021, called Una Rosa. That one was pretty good. I wouldn't say it's one of my top favorite albums from her, because like I said, Black Terry Cow is really good. But she's just a really good artist that I think y'all should check out. Uh, coming up next, though, I've got Mia, or M.I.A., from Paper Planes. We've also got Micro, Always, and Dr. Dog, only on Vaquero Radio. All right, Vaqueros, thanks again for uh, staying with me. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I had a good day with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the music for today. Uh, remember, this is 5 o'clock, summer from 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, every Tuesday, come on in, come join. I'll be here. <laughs>